my little holiday in Switzerland. And in that time I've only managed to make the mountain train go down the mountain too fast, push a few people off a waterfall, and destroy the statue of Sherlock Holmes. But I know someone who's done a lot worse than I have on their holidays, and his name is Mr. B. Bean, also known as Bean the Ultimate Disaster Movie, or Mr. Bean the Movie, was the first full-length feature film to be based off of Mr. Bean. You know, that child in a man's body that everybody loved. Well, this was the first time we ever saw him on the big screen. And it was also the first time I've ever seen Mr. Bean and Rowan Atkinson. So what's the story? The National Gallery of London is asked to send their finest worker to oversee the unveiling of Whistler's mother in California. They send their most inept and distinctive employee in a desperate attempt to get him out of their lives. And that employee is Mr. Bean, the master of disaster. Within days of his arrival, Mr. Bean destroys virtually everything he comes in contact with. Be it the career and marriage of his host, David Langley, or America's greatest painter. Not necessarily. And that's really the whole story. This is one of those movies that doesn't need a villain or the free act structure. It's just in the life of Mr. Bean while he's in America. This was the movie that introduced me to Roman Atkinson. So I guess you could say if it wasn't for being the ultimate disaster movie, I never would have gotten into Roman Atkinson's other comedies, such as Blackadder and the Thin Blue Line and a bunch of others we don't need to mention. You know earlier when I said that this was the first time I saw Roman Atkinson? Well, that's sort of true and false. It's true because it is the first time I actually saw Roman Atkinson's face on the big screen, as well as TV. And it's also false, because The Lion King was the first time I heard his voice, and I didn't even know it was him back then. Wow, what a coincidence. And let me just say this, Roman Atkinson just nails it every time I see him on screen. He's best known in Mr. Bean for his physical performances, and this movie shows how good he is at physical performing. Are you he gives us some of the jokes that were seen in previous episodes of the show, and he gives us some new jokes that were made specially for this movie including one of the greatest YouTube poop memes of all time. Magic. <laughs> and all the characters were very memorable in this movie too. Like David Langley, his family, that American general, that police officer, the people who worked in the Royal National Gallery of London. I said the characters were memorable, not their names. The first time I saw this movie, I couldn't stop laughing at every moment when Mr. Bean was on screen. Whether he was just being himself or causing disasters like the famous cooking the turkey in the microwave scene. That had me laughing every time I watched that, especially with the outcome of it all. But one of his best moments is when he accidentally ruins the painting of Whistler's mother by putting ink on it and then accidentally putting paint thinner on it. But you could tell by his face and reactions that he was trying to fix the problem even if it didn't work out really well. And it's especially funny when David finds out that the painting was ruined. Where's the picture gone? And when Bean shows David what he did to the painting, this brings up one of the funniest overreactions of all time. Oh, Jesus! Oh, God! Oh, oh, Jesus! God! Oh, Mary, Mother of Jesus! Jesus of Nazareth! Why am I worrying about this? You did it! All I have to do is go out and tell them what happened. And I say, well, who let them alone with the picture? And I say, me! <laughs> 
somebody does something that shocks you, just do it. Just do it out of nowhere. For example, you'll be like, yeah, I, uh, I don't know how to tell you this, but I accidentally broke your Nintendo Wii U. You did what? Yeah, it's a funny story, a uh, true story. I was playing cricket in the house with Rob, and uh, he threw the ball, and I hit the ball too hard, and it flew into the Nintendo Wii U and smashed it to bits. Ah, oh, God! Ah, oh, God! Do it if someone kicks you in the nuts, do it if you get sent a bill, whatever. Just do it and see what reactions you'll get out of it. But what makes Bean a slightly better man in the movie than he was in the show was that he actually does come up with a way to solve the problem of Whistler's mother. And the outcome is both satisfying for him, the fans, and funny at the same time. Especially when he gives his speech about what he thinks about the painting. And all the other stuff he does in the film is hilarious too. Like that Ride of Doom scene has me on the floor every time I watch it. Especially with this line. Or that moment when the guy flies off the chair. That's fucking hilarious. I used to watch this movie at least once a week when I was a kid. And watching it again as an adult, I still enjoy it. I enjoy watching this movie a lot because of Rowan Atkinson, the jokes they have, and the hilarious outcomes in the end. This is one of the greatest movies I've ever seen in the 90s, and as I said it was what introduced me to Rowan Atkinson in the first place before I knew that he was in The Lion King, which was before this film. And I never really watched any episodes of the show before I watched this film. I ended up watching the show after the film. And you don't really have to watch the show to enjoy the movie, but I think it helps if you watch one or two of the episodes before seeing this film. But whichever order you choose to see him in, then I can guarantee that you're going to enjoy Mr. Bean. If you just got back from an airplane holiday and want to have a laugh after that in sourced in flight, then put that movie on and have a laugh or two. Or three or four. Or five or six. Or seven or eight. Or nine or ten. Or so on and so forth. This film is definitely one of the best movies I've ever seen in the 90s, and I always enjoyed going back to it for a laugh or two. Or three or four. This is definitely one of the best movies I've ever seen in the 90s, and I always enjoy going back to it. <laughs> Seriously, do that reaction and see how other people will react to it. I'm Dylan44, and I'll see you next time, folks. Right. Let's unpack. 